High Court of Manipur quashes Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Men's Exam 2016 directs CBI to investigate conduction of the exam. Speaker Yumnam Kamchan appreciates people of the Kral District for their hospitality, urges all to preserve Siri Lili. CCSK Sarika commemorates first sitting of Manipur Assembly Station. Titular King Klesemba Sanazawa says there is no Anglo cookie war in Manipur's history. MPCC condemns Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Qatar's October 13 controversial comment on Congress Interim President Sonia Gandhi. Kairau MLA Laurembam Rameshwar claims state government led by Chief Minister N. Buren is running on deficit and can only give lip service but no real work. And in Falk West, traffic police team demolishes illegal shops constructed on footpaths near Wahinklekai parking area. Police warns further drives to encroachers. Hello and welcome to Impact News watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangzam Shalera with the top stories and latest news at this hour. A division bench of the High Court of Manipur comprising of Justice Lanung Shunkum Jamir and Justice K.H. Nobin quashed and set aside Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Men's Examination 2016 conducted by MPSC today. Impact News sources said that the judgment was announced after a series of hearings on the case. The High Court's 151-page judgment order released this afternoon quashed the Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Men's Examination 2016 and all other consequential orders including the appointment order issued by Department of Personnel and the Revenue Department have been quashed and set aside. However, it is open to the Manipur Public Service Commission MPSC to conduct the men's examination 2016 afresh after due notice being given to the candidates. The court has further directed the Central Bureau of the Investigation, CBI, to investigate into the conduct of the men's examination 2016 by the MPSC within a period of three months. The High Court has cited measure blunders in the conduction of the men's examination by MPSC in direct violation of directives under the Indian Constitution. Groups of experience have asserted that the High Court's judgment to crash and set aside MCSCC Men's Examination 2016 and cancellation of appointment orders clearly shows that even government jobs are not permanent and that it can be revoked on ethical grounds. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club this afternoon, spokesperson of Group of Aspirants Kaisham Kishan termed the judgment of the Special Division Bands comprising of Justice Langnung Shungum Jamir and Justice Gage Nobin as a man told in the history of Manipur. He stated that the court has quashed the appointment order issued to 82 candidates of the examination. Manipur ki kwai dagi chawa post, administration post, pairi ba niyom chumda na khan graba 82 selected candidate ki thabak to kakkre amadi is mayang ki wakhanda lai ba saka ki thabak chang aga kakpa ya de hai ba wakhanda du laal le hai ba si asi hai ko na praman tau kre Manipur Civil Service Combined 2016 examination asi mains tagi haugadra na traga prelims tagi haugadra du di masi ki liberty du di MPAC da sinagre Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly, Humnam Kamchan, has appreciated the people of Ukral district for their hospitality and urged the valley inhabitants to learn the same. Addressing the gathering on the third day event of the third state level Siri Lili Festival 2019, organized jointly by Manipur Assembly Secretariat and Siri Village at Siri Village Ground today, Speaker Kamchan asserted that the ethereal Siri Lili has attracted tourists from around the world. He mentioned that without the Siri Lili, there will be no Siri Lili festival. Hence, earnest efforts should be made to preserve the endangered and the endemic flower. 
Speaker Kem Chan asserted that hills and valley inhabitants have become closer under Chief Minister Nong Thom Ambiran's initiative since 2017, and the same is proven by mass participation of both hills and valley inhabitants in the state level Siri Lili Festival. Speaker Kem Chan assured to offer necessary assistance for the construction of a club at the Siri Foothills. Taking part in the event, convener of the AKS Policy Manipur, RK Siv Chandra, also expressed gratitude to the people of the Ukral district for their hospitality. Cultural items performed by various Tankul artists mark the event. <laughs> Coalition for Indigenous Rights Campaign, Sarka, commemorated the first sitting of Manipur Assembly session of October 18, 1948 at Uttara Sankland in Manipur Palace today. Speaking at the event, titular Kingley Semba Sanazawa urged the public to take a close look at the history of Manipur. He asserted that there is no anglo cookie war ever in the history of Manipur. Lesemba Sanazawa also called upon the people not to forget that Manipur planted the seeds of democracy earlier than India. The titular king urged people of the state not to ever temper the history of the state. Kari Hibertari, Maram Sai Kondi Sadi Kondi Sum, Puggy, appeal the Pongto, demand the Pongto to Tobusa. Masima di Kalu Kudimoto Masiti, Togum Seneleco. Aduna, Maram Sad, Regusu, Anga, Mana, Pack up the Kapaga Diko, Tim Bugi Namu, Pija Bagumbagi, type to some Tatarapose, Masi, a live of Tiban in the low. Aduna, Kara Ikainasi, I walk under the Lady Bakalu Purpunamaxa, Kara Ikainasi, Ayagi, Kaluki, Ayipurki, what is Unganga Leva, upon be what in Ganga Daba, Adigi Levaxi Kogi, Kanoma, Kumi, and the Sap, Managa Kogi, pull up Nanga, pull up boys, talk of the talk of Ayagi, Tonga Leva, Amanatawa, Aman Singtava, Aman Tawa, Aman Singtava, Kosum, why who calls her Malaysia? Masako Tadong, the Sena is Mara Pilto Jenny, Kari Hibertari, Maram Sai. Committee of Civil Societies Kanglai Park CCSK also commemorated the first sitting of Manipur Assembly session of October 18, 1948 at GM Hall today. Chairman of Cookie Organization for Human Rights Trust, Dr. T. Lung Kim Hetman of the Ukral District, Wung Wong Village, K.S. Writing, Assistant Professor of GM yeah, Women yeah, Palace, yeah, Abdul yeah, Hakim, yeah, Social yeah, Activist, yeah, Filson yeah. Wai, Lunghar, an advisor of Rongmate Lufum, Panti Goldmate, attended the observance organized by CCSK for the fourth time. Speaking on the occasion, CCSK President Jitren the Ningomba recalled that the first sitting of Manipur Assembly session was held at State Dabur Holt on October 18, 1948, following formation of a democratic government by the people of Manipur. He mentioned that the first assembly session of the sovereign Manipur was attended by 49 people's representatives. Jitren the Ningomba asserted that the day marked the bravery and courage of the leaders who kept aside communal and religious differences for a united Manipur. He urged the present and the upcoming generations to acknowledge and follow the ideals and principles led by the forefathers. <laughs> Wakalun Singasi, Matok Tarian, Kanjabalun and Sikh Tormsi, Pantuksevan. 
Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee have strongly condemned Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Qatar's October 13 controversial comment on a Congress Interim President Sonia Gandhi. MPCC members burned effigies of the Chief Minister and carried out protest demonstration today. Taking part in the protest, MPCC President Gai Kangam condemned the BJP-led NDA government of going against democratic principles. He demanded Haryana Chief Minister to apologize to Sonia Gandhi for his indecent remarks. Gai Kangam also criticized the state government for utilizing police force to disperse the MPCC members who were carrying out democratic form of protests in solidarity to Congress Party's nationwide protests of the incident. Haryana Chief Minister Mahakna Jam Diregutori Yam Oiba and Parliamentary Oiba Leva Masa Tadaba Lidera Magi Chindigi Tokeda Wangang Sangang Jamna Mokari Taita Karem Negu Taita Nang Hibado Congress Party condemned to him. I could democratically Hamzavani violence to Jade Lao Kon to Jade Adubu Mudu Pokta Honda Daisi. They simply gagging the mouth of democracy. Sarkara Mana law se protect on over, law se preserve on over, one talk lay never hold over domato dang never. Law sibu, one talk lay hendava, protect the way you hutta acromon torpa, Masila Tivani, Adana Masigum, Sarkar Sidi, died the late later with Takagi, Mami Tai, Hoziki, Lingaka Sidi, Democracy later with Notore, Mrs. Lavak Tivani, repressive measure, Pazava, Namtavangamo, Hena Hena, Kusana Rakani, Hena Hena, Moduna, Yamna, Akaibo Erkani Tunda, Masi, Matumana. Kero MLA Lauren Bamrameshur has criticized the state government led by Chief Minister N. Berend for not walking the talks. He was speaking at the felicitation program of Bosem 23rd ranker Komamt Marungmamt Maring from Punalt Maring village in Kero constituency organized by United Development Committee Kero today. MLA Rameshwar presented a Honda Dayo to the students at the event held at Kiamgai Mamanglikai Community Hall. Speaking at the event, MLA Rameshwar strongly condemned both the state and the central BZP-led governments for failing to improve the socio-economic status of people. He claimed that the state government is running on deficit. He maintained funds for road repair on the PWD has not even released since 2018 and crores of rupees are still pending for restoration works of riverbanks. MLA Ramishwar added that the government has provided no funds to MLAs other than the local area development fund even after two years of governance. <laughs> ไอ้ก็ชะกาเซ่มาซึ่งเซกาเนี่ยซึ่งเนี่ยก็ให้ตอนนั้นตอนนั้นก็ไม่ได้ให้เซกาบ่มาไอ้ที่ตอนนี้
दुकान फमी मैम से ना पब्लिक की प्रॉपर्टी से मथक मैम चचरी पेडेस्ट्रेन की लंबी श्री था चंजल अद दुकान चंजल पुलिस एक्ट की मखाद अखोना चली थुगर दुकान सिंहबनी कहोना मैम पाजेल पीनिंग एनी पब्लिक की प्रॉपर्टी एंक्रोचमेंट तौबीगन मैम की पब्लिक की जगानी अदना पब्लिक की प्रॉपर्टी रेस्पेक्ट तौसी पब्लिक की प्रॉपर्टी से कना गुम एंक्रोच तौर तार आयन की चपचाब खुथांग मफम खुद लोखनी है Convener of the GAC form against the suspicious death of a girl student of Standard Robert Higher Secondary School, El Ganeshwari expressed disappointment over the state government's failure to punish the culprit involved in the student's death till date. She was speaking to media on the sidelines of three-month death anniversary observance of the girl student at Thangmiban Meishnam Lekai today. El Ganeshwari urged the state government to hand over the case to the CBI without further delay. एम एल ए खरना पाता मोई माइक सपोर्ट हो प्रेसर पीबी खोलाउनी है रूलिंग पार्टी लेरीब एम एल ए खरन खर थब की मौं इशू असे पिक उबगी मौं है पेंजदे है इशू असे मनपुर की ओब इशू है लौबू बोर्डिंग सात्र सात्री इचा सिंह इशू पुनसी कन्नबी अब अचब इशू है लौबीग लोनना सरकार अथुब सिबीआई मकोन ताब ची प्रेसर अदीर थूना प्रोसेस लोदना सिबीआई ने पाईरपगी एक्शन लोबगीब पाइन भी है सरकार की मफम जे सी माइक थमजरी CAF and PD Laborers Welfare Association has appealed to workers not to abuse their membership rights in various organizations. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, Assistant Secretary of CAF and PD Laborers Welfare Association Manitomba Mate stated that the association has no objection to any laborers joining any workers organization or association but it should be carried out in an ethical manner. He clarified that those members who have declared their exit from CAF and PD Laborers Welfare Association and entry into old jerry-bombed local labor union are not regular members of the association. Manitomba appealed to old jerry-bombed local labor union not to defame the association which has taken pivotal roles in the society for the past 10 years. He also claimed that the contractor concerned has failed to pay due wages to laborers of FCI, FSD, and Rel Head Jiribam till date. Government PD Labour Welfare Association bu mission mikhai nai ba sinmi ki lup amani sandok li ba si ta sheng aran bani mission mikhai nai ri badi contractor ni contractor na hoxi hoxi FCI amadi FCD amasung Rel Head Jiribam da. थबक सूरी हेन नुसीदना मानव खुशम पीदे तौसीदना खाबू खाबू तानब सिली खाबू खाबू तानब सिली ऑथोरीटी नगना कॉन्ट्रेक्टर की मधक् सिमी मैम पुनसीदना थबक तौनगदब ओल जीव लोकल यूनियन की मो खरना कॉन्ट्रेक्टर की थी मानब मौद सिमी खुनाई की ख्वाई लाइक थी थबक सूरी सिमी फंगद पैसा फाव कॉन्ट्रेक्टर ड्राइवर सिंधुना खर पीर खर पीदे मरम काबेम पी टी लेबर वेलफेयर एसोसीयेसन बु मिचत थे चेनरीब खुद की मधक् आयन की ओब चपचाब पाखनी Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the valedictory event of cultural come literary meet of Manipur University of Culture. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. After the break, you're watching Prime Time English News. Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala said that Manipur University of Culture is a very unique and important institution of the state. The governor was speaking at the valedictory event of two-day cultural comp literary meet of Manipur University of Culture titled In Art held at Manipur State Film Development Society MSFDS Auditorium in Palace Compound today. Governor Dr. Nasma Haftala said that the state is a mosaic of natural beauty and rich art and culture. She mentioned that the state is famous worldwide for its unique language and literature, traditions and culture. It has been 
spawn under a driving need to safeguard this priceless cultural heritage and to work for its development. The ancient culture of the land finds its expression in the collective institutions, characters, manner, belief, as well as the fine arts, indigenous sports, literature, and martial arts. The young university aims at underlashing the fundamental philosophy which was inherent there have been these rich and colorful cultural elements. This university will become an important and prestigious cultural center on the country's cultural map in due course of time. In our march towards progress and prosperity, our cultural riches are our asset and that make us proud, beautiful and connected. President of the International Peace and Social Advancement, IPSA, Kontausam Joychandra, declared that IPSA will extend great support efforts in preserving the culture and tradition of the state. Speaking to media at IPSA office today, KH Joychandra asserted that IPSA, along with JN Dance Academy, will organize cultural actions programmed at four different places of Bangladesh starting November 2. He said teachers from the state will be sent to Bangladesh to enlighten Manipuri diasporas there on the culture and tradition of Maidai community. Pagi culture as a Malayam the Masak Tapuda, Manipur Giwang with the Labour, Manipur Singh, Manipur India Eastern, Maning the Labour, Manipur Singh, Mapong Kayada, Ipsana, Padding Nine, Satur Pagi, Adumulba, Culture and Excellence Program, I quay Bangladesh, Tapuna, Pankokatoriba, Asida, Bangladesh, Hai Balamdam, Asi, I quay Manipur Gipuariga, I quina, Tangazaba Matamda, Yam Nangaba Mari, I quiga, Lainazaba, Aduga, I quigi, Manipur Giwanga, Labak Singda, Manipur Singa, Quidigi Kundaba, Lamdam, Ama Hiragadi. I could Bangladesh, Oina, Equina, Tangaja. Hariba, Mapum Asidista, Manipuri Singa, Makoigi Oiba, Equigi Oiba, Mapum Adugi, Lady Ba, Langa Wanda, Equina Madu, Quay Kut, Sinjavana City, Equigi Oiba, Lining Lights One, Kalser Mayam, Se, Mapum Pana Yokatpa, Adugi, Wakalonda, Chana, Pantuk Jabani. Acting on a thief of a combined team of Moray Police Commando and two of the Assam Rifles apprehended a suspected cadre of proscribed People's Liberation Army PLA from the Indo Myanmar border this early morning at around 3 30. The arrested person is 37 year old Sograkpam Somokanta, son of S. Ibotombi from Mongsangai Maninglekai in Imphalt West. The team arrested him on suspicion during a frisking operation at the Indo Myanmar border. Upon interrogation, Somokanta reportedly confessed it. he is an active gatherer of proscribed PLA. He was handed over to Moray Police Station for further legal actions. A team of 12 Assam rifles, Moray apprehended a man with contraband drugs worth around 82 lakh rupees at Kuding Tabi permanent motor vehicle check post in Fault Moray Road last evening at around 5. Impact News sources said that the team confiscated 132 grams of brown sugar, 120 grams of heroin number 4 and 1,200 WI tablets from 29-year-old Muhammad Azmir Ali, son of Muhammad Liakat Ali from Pangai, Yangdong Komidok Umangklekai of the Infalt East. Azmir was ferrying the drugs in an eco vent. He has been handed over to Moray Police Station along with the drugs last night for further legal actions. Members of Young Social Service Union YSSU in Sagolbant Moirangklerak under Infalt Police Station of the Infalt West Court three individuals in possession of contraband heroin number four from the locality last night at around eight. The arrested miscreants are 40-year-old Hanglem Damudor, son of H. Shurzid from Sagolban Terra Lukram Lairak, 44-year-old Elangbam Nisikanta, son of E. Mangi from Sagolbant Madhu, Mabudont Mantri Lekai and 30-year-old Chabungbam Hemam, son of C. H. Ibotombi from Sagolbant Moirang Lera. Impact News sources said that the local residents caught them on suspicion. Upon interrogation, it came to light that the miscreants obtained from drugs from one Yaima of Sagolbant Mabudo Mantri Lekai. Club members have handed over the miscreants to Imphal Police Station. Subsidiary Training Center 
both the security force STC BSF in Georgiambo district paid homage to martyred inspector of 168 battalion BS Alex T. Lan Minklung during Martyrs Week observance held at St. Teresa School in Tuiting 5 village today. IZDK Tripathi presented traditional shawls and memento to surviving family members at the event. Student winners of the quiz competition held as a part of the Martyrs Week observance were also felicitated at the event. Nomaiteng Pahari Memorial Trust observed the 13th death anniversary of the renowned lead singer Nomaiteng Pahari at Lamian Basangland in Palace Compound today. Attendees paid floral tributes to the portrait of the lead singer at the observance. Members of the trust also presented gifts to Ustad Nongthombam Nongthon, who was a lifelong companion of Nomaiteng Pahari on the occasion. Film critic R.K. Bidur read out his writings on the life and contributions of the lead singer at the event. Tribute performances by renowned singers of the state mark the event. Manipur State Legal Services Authority, along with State Health Agency, Directorate of Health Services, Manipur and Chanung Zintha Club organized one-day mass enrollment program for Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Jant Arogya Yozna, PMJAY and Chief Minister Haksel Gitengbang, CMHD. PMJAY and CMHD health cards were distributed to 150 beneficiaries in the event held at Chanung Community Hall in Chining Village, Imphal East today. Lamsang MLA come chairperson of Manipur Handloom and Handicrafts Development Corporation as Rosent has appealed to gift native products during Ningol Chakova Festival. Speaking to media at his residence in Salam Laikai of the Infalt West today, as Rosent conveyed his heartiest Ningol Chakova greetings. He appealed to people to refrain from buying expensive imported items to gifts women folk during the festival. He stated that Manipur Handloom and Handicrafts Development Corporation will open the mold in association with Pantobi Arcade Wonkai at Palace Compound on October 25 to mark available various indigenous handlooms and handicraft products and other native items in view of the new old Chakova Festival. As Razan mentioned that Manipur Handloom and Handicrafts Development Corporation has started exporting products made by local weavers and artisans to ease their marketing issues facing them. Lakado River, Ekoi Ekoi, Sako River, Ningol Singsi, Mapal Gipina, the Kinata of Bugimota, Ekoi Kudol Port Tambase, Ekoi Manipurgi, Isalisia Singas Haba, Adugumba Manipurgi, Helungi Productiona, Ekoi Ningol Singi, Kudol Port, Pivazi, Pianingi, Adamasina, Kanagadur Masina Pigadoridi, Ekoi Isalisia Mayam Singsima, Ekoi Lepton, Tabakshuna, Bugi Peace, Hanabuki Tabakama Pire, Luinana, Punkudima, Redimet Nata Sina Rapanina, Ekoi Lekai, Lekai, the Lady Ba, Master Taylor. Renowned international American rock band Extreme arrived to the Infal today to perform at Shirok as part of the ongoing Siri Lili Festival 2019 at Bakshi Ground in Ukrul tomorrow. Lead guitarist of the band New No Baton Goat said that they are both happy and nervous for their performance. Speaking to media at the Sangai Hall of the Infault Hotel this evening, New No Baton Goat stated that they are extremely overwhelmed to take part in the festival aimed to conserve the endangered Siri Lili. He expressed excitement about exploring new cultures, new cuisine, and meeting new people. Lead vocalist Gary Cheront, Bessie's Pat Bagger, and drummer Kevin. Figueri to attend the press meet. It's incredible here. It's beautiful. And it's India. You know, we're so happy to be here. But the truth is, is that when you, to think about that we've been together, we're going on almost 30 years. And it's very rare that we get to perform for people that we've never performed for. And that's really exciting. Now, it's, it's exciting, but it's also like, you know, we... We're semi disappointed that we haven't been able to come, but at the same time, it's going to be meeting a whole new audience, a whole new country, a whole new culture. But but we have we kind of don't know what to expect. I mean, we do, but we don't. Uh, we've never performed for an Indian audience or this country, so 
We don't know if they're going to love us, hate us, cheer us on, uh, be warm, whatever. But we're hoping, you know, one thing's for sure is they're, uh, if they missed out on the band back in the day, I think they're going to, I think they're going to be lucky to see the band now. I think the band's better now. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. High Court of Manipur crashes Manipur Civil Services Combined Competitive Men's Examination 2016 directs CBI to investigate conduction of the exam. Speaker Yumnam Kamchan appreciates people of Ukral District for their hospitality, urges all to preserve Siri Lili. CCSK Sarka commemorate first sitting of Manipur Assembly Station. Titular King Clay Samba Sanazawa says there is no Anglo Pugi war in Manipur's history. MPCC condemns Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Tata's October 13 controversial comment on Congress Interim President Sonia Gandhi. Cairo Emily Lauren Bamramishore claims state government led by Chief Minister Anne Buren is running on deficit and can only give lift service but no real work. An Impal to West Traffic Police team demolishes illegal shops constructed on footpaths near Wahinklikai parking area. Police warns further drives to encroachers.